So what about the adhesive? Um, well, there are really different kind of adhesives where some glue material where you're gonna stick, right, to use to stick your mosaic on this mesh or on uh, a craft paper. So, um, okay, let's start with the not so good adhesives for us. First of all, uh, I guess we can split it in two. The first subject will be the health, the healthy way when you are working in a workshop. When you're when you're in a workshop and you have the smell, that's the first case. The second one will be the um, the time it takes. The, mm, how many time that adhesive needs to get dried, you know? And um, so in a healthy way, this water-based adhesive is actually the most not smelling and almost healthy adhesive. This is why I'm using it for the last almost 20 years. And um, there are, it's white and it gets transparent, which is also a good point. You will not have some, 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 some you know, some glue uh, things left on your front, uh, on your mosaic when it gets dry, it gets transparent. And the good thing is, let's say you applied your mosaic after your workshop thing on a wall somewhere and when you start to make grouting, you know, grout has water inside. So, and when you finish your grouting, the first round, then you know you wait and then you make the second round and then you clean it up. After when you clean it up with water, your mosaic, I mean when you clean up that grouting from your mosaic, because of water-based adhesive is getting white color again when it's get wet, you know. Uh, after the grouting, because of this water will run, um, you will have water on your surface. So when you will see some places getting white, means there is some um, this water-based adhesive left. So you can clean it up with something, and that's also a good point. So what else can we also use to um, glue tiles on mosaic mesh? Well, there is some a very heavy chemical stuff which dries in almost 10 seconds, which is cool, but it's really bad, has a really aggressive, you know, smelling. And so I just used it once and then I was sick for one week. Uh, all my nose, you know, and my, it was terrible. So it's quite aggressive, you say in German, it's, it's like biting your, um, your 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 system kind of so but but um, the thing is when you use mosaic mesh and when you glue your tiles with water-based adhesive on your mosaic mesh and let's say your work will end somewhere in a pool in a swimming pool and well that's should be this will can can turn to a problem very quickly because that water in the pool is possible that they will that water you know there's a lot of pressure inside the pool and when that water piece not piece of water but when even a molecule of water will find a way to um, get under your mosaic when you know when your grouting is not so well in a swimming pool it's possible that water will try to get under your mosaic and will start to um, getting in chemical reaction with your water-based adhesive and your tiles are already laid and grown and people are swimming you know in a pool uh, a big disaster is coming up very soon like your tiles will Okay, that's too much stuff. I will stay in the main topic. Um, so forget about all that other adhesive types. Water-based adhesive is the most um, healthy, almost, uh, adhesive that you can use in mosaic art. 
So I guess Nan has this one. By the way, my lower back. Oh God. Um, by the way, uh, Nan, I guess, had this one question. No, it was not Nan. I also remember a question about um, this backside, you know, back it um, glass mosaic tiles with a, f a foil. Is this the right way to say? It? You know, like this gold mosaics. Do you, you see a piece of glass? When you look at it, and when you turn to turn the backside, there is like cover it with some um, some some folie, we say in German. Um, so I had this one issue in a project in Iraq where we they sent me some mosaic tiles. They sent me some mosaic tiles from CGs S I C I S. Uh, from Italy and and there was golden tiles and also green and red and other other colors as well they was all they all the tiles was was uh, back you know back it glass mosaic tiles when you look at it you can you see the glass tile and behind there is this colored stuff back it and what happened is you know water based adhesive is really not that aggressive like that other um, glue material so we say harmless in German I don't know how to call it in English so it doesn't bite that material that fast and it's not that strong in a chemical way but um, with all of a sudden the colors turn into you know red turn into light brown and the yellow turned into also like brown and it was like you know this is the tile not the whole thing was turned into a different color just you know it was exactly the area where I used that adhesive that water-based adhesive you know when you just tip it on your uh, mesh and you uh, push your tile a bit and then you leave it and then you go to the next one the next one so the area where the water-based Odyssey was in connection has changed its color. Another interesting thing was it does not um, happen to all the tiles. Just in just some of the tiles, which was almost forty percent of the whole work, um, the color has changed. The color has changed. So how I handle that with a client? Um, well, you know uh, how my, you know my, how my brain works. So I just come up with the idea that you know it it was uh, an ornamental uh, a rook rock, you know, for a floor. It was a big one with gold and stuff and leaves and everything. It looks to me look it looks to me like at that time like. Um, how do you say when a piece of metal is contacting water we say rost in German I don't know how to call it in English it, look, it looks to me like a very old kind of a rook so it was like almost designed that way but when you look at each tile it looks terrible when, it, when you look at the whole thing it was like the color was like changing and well, it looks good to me, and um, so I came up with the idea that that somehow this happened. I am sorry for that, but it still looked good because of this, of this, um, of the view. And so they accepted. I was lucky to do all the things from you, but it was not my fault because that adhesive was somehow it was get to reaction with this. Um, with with the tile colors, I don't know how this happened, and well, this is how we 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 uh, moved further in that project. But um, the thing was, this company who produced this kind of mosaics, uh, these are not bad mosaics. I mean, not a good quality. No, um, these guys are. Taking a glass, they putting this colored foil at the backside, and they put it in an oven. You know, not not kitchen oven like me. 
they put in the oven and they back it and then you have the tub but what they do actually they don't use any mesh the new generation is using mostly also to see more details on that drawing that you are doing um, they use kind of a, um, a tape a huge tape just remember just um, it's a huge tape kind of you know normally tapes to stick something is like I guess five or six centimeters and it's roll it and they have these tapes like big like one meter by 50 so what they do actually they just put their drawings on a table and then they are enroll that tape and they just stick the tiles you know the the front side to the tape so it sticks automatically no mesh no RC which is actually amazing if I will go ahead with my mosaic projects um, if I just I wish I didn't have this lower back problem so we can't all use this kind of a tape this new generation materials uh, it's quite easy you don't have to mess around with your adhesive stuff with mesh and everything everything is on this for uh, this uh, tape which is transparent by the way you can see every detail of your drawing which is so cool and even when you use when we use water-based adhesive during your mosaic workshop and stick them on this um, on this mosaic mesh you know when you when you uh, have a bit of water-based adhesive on a mesh the drawing you can't see the drawing anymore because it's white and it was a mess it was you have to imagine how the line would probably go and you you put your towel and you make the redirections and stuff but it's cool and to use this kind of a new tape I don't know I never used it before I just used it once but it was not a tape like that di directly it was something different I thought why don't you use this um, it didn't work well so I turned to mosaic mesh and um, I hope um, this will answer your questions and okay um, let me know if there is something missing in this vlog about about um, some some questions on stuff uh, let me know in the comment section I will try to answer over there I will make another video about mosaic art and um, mosaic artists and this mosaic match thing one more thing I appreciate uh, some of you has bought from my designs on T Public, I will also um, make some designs for T Spring, which is another website, which is also cool. And I appreciate that. Uh, thank you so much. You don't have to, but you have already. I'm. Um, you make me happy somehow. I hope you really like them, and this is the reason why you bought them, uh, not just to, you know, it's it's cute anyway. And um, thank you so much. See you at the next vlog. Kiss.